Okay. All right. So, um, oh, wait, we have an attendee, Steve. Let me allow oh, him is it? to come you in. You want to let him in? Okay, good. Yep. Perfect. If you can just unmute, Steve. There you are. Yeah. He is. Well, All I, was, right. I guess I was using the wrong link. I don't know. I used the one on, from the email, but. Oh, okay. You're here okay. Now. Never it's okay. You. There we go. When it, we were giving you, you know, a couple of minutes and there you are. So, all right. So I've already started recording the meeting. Okay. Um, so we'll call this meeting to order. We have a quorum of the board of registrars. And I think um, what we're going to do first is just do, um, you know, call to order and, and uh, out loud, because we're on Zoom out loud uh, roll call. So Susan Audet, town clerk here. Um, Jamie Wagner? Here. Stephen George? Here. Jackie Gardner? Here. And Amber Martin, assistant town clerk? Here. All right, that is who's present here today for this meeting um, for the Board of Registrars. Um, and it is now 10.07. Okay. And public comment is always our second thing on our agenda but I don't see anybody here in the attendees um, list. So we have no public attending. So there is none. And then our uh, third agenda item is to discuss the role of non-voting counselor liaisons and whether the board would like to have a liaison this year as we were asked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen. I have the um, attachment that the counselor sent us. Let me just do that, screen one. Can everybody see it? Yeah. Yep. Yes, all right. Oh, well, cooking with gas, okay. All right, <laughs> so how about I read this um, so that we can just refresh our, is that okay with everyone? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, okay, all right. So the council, um, town council rules of procedure has this section, counselors as non-voting liaisons. And the council may designate counselors as non-voting liaisons to multiple member bodies, the school committee and library trustees. The function of a liaison is to serve as a link between the council and the multiple member body to which they are assigned. They are there to observe, share information, answer questions to the degree that they can and make sure that the council is kept apprised of the work of the body to which they are a liaison. They are not there to advocate or promote a particular policy or course of action. And then under this, it states that uh, liaisons are not voting members of the body. Liaisons shall identify themselves as liaisons prior to the first instance of speaking at each meeting. When recognized by the chair, liaisons may ask questions and make comments during discussion. And I just want to stop at that point because it says when recognized by the chair, um, we already voted as a body on, I looked this up on January 9th, 2023, that no chair was needed for this group. So if we had a liaison, I don't know how we would, we would, we would have to work around that. Um, liaison shall not participate remotely. Liaison shall not comment during public comment. Liaison shall not express personal opinions when recognized by the chair to speak. Liaison shall not commit the council to a course of action and are not to speak on behalf of the council. Liaison shall sit where the public are seated. Liaison shall receive meeting postings, agendas, reports, and minutes from the other body. Liaisons are not required to attend all meetings of the other body, but should be familiar with the materials provided as above and maintain contact with the other body's chair. Liaisons shall report any of the other bodies pending policy or budget recommendations to the full council in a timely manner. Not all town multiple member bodies will have liaisons. The town council shall maintain a priority list of bodies most likely to propose measures to the council. The president shall send a list of all liaisons together with a copy of this rule to all town multiple member bodies, the school committee and library trustees after each annual reorganization. Bodies without a current liaison may ask the council to assign one subject to availability. And then lastly, counselors shall indicate their liaison preferences annually. Okay. So with all of that said, can I stop sharing this or do you want it to stay up? I'm all set with it. Okay. 
Okay. Good. See? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't need it. Okay. All right. Back to back to your full faces and not little tiny thumbprints. All right. Yeah. Who wants to talk first? <laughs> what do you think? Oh. Oh. Well, I'll just jump in here for a few things. And I know that this is like a, a town charter, but is there like a job description describing the job duties that the person has to do? Because it seems kind of strange too that this person is supposed to be a liaison, which to me means a communication link between the council and the board. But it seems like it's a one-way street, that all the information is going to the, the counselor, but the but the, nothing's coming back to the board. For example, um, this person could have like a list of issues or whatever it is, not let us know what they are and just report them to the to the council. So it seems like somewhere in there in the job duties, it should be mentioned too, that they were also to give the board a copy of the um, information that they are distributing to the council, seeing as the council is getting everything that we have. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> so I think, I think we have to go back and take it back to what does the board do? What is the board of registrar's responsibilities and mm -hmm. basically meetings are called when the need arises yeah. so um you mm -hmm. know like for a review of non-certified signatures mm -hmm. for any state candidates we would be called you know if that should happen mm -hmm. um we would render any decisions on any matters referred to us you know anything that might come before us like say somebody challenged a voter their mm -hmm. address you know we would have to meet and research and decide whether somebody was legitimately registered at an address, so, you know. Mm -hmm. um, recounts, as you know, recounts. If there's a mm -hmm. recount call, we have to preside over the recounts for any, mm -hmm. you know, ballot questions, anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the thing is, so I know what you're saying. So all of our information is going to the board, but none's coming to us. And I think none would be coming to us because we're not under the board. Mm -hmm. We are a state. Yeah. Board? Um, yeah. And it, no, that part I do understand. But as far as like the requirements also, like whether or not to attend meetings, because that seems kind of shaky. I mean, as far as like, you know, they're not really required to attend the meetings. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I don't know. But anyway, those are just the, the, the shall we say, the comments or the um, issues, because I, I per, personally, because a lot of what I what I'm seeing that this is from the town charter. And this is like, this is actually this, it's. Sorry to jump in. It's from, it's the Amherst Town Council Rules of Procedure. Okay. That's where it's from. Okay. And that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like a local thing. So as far as I'm concerned, what I'm mentioning also is like policy. I mean, because for example, this person, as far as I'm concerned, and I understand what their job duties are, but they could be sitting in on a council meeting and making notes and they may disagree or may, or whatever it is, and just report that incident or whatever it is back to the, to the, to the town council without giving us a copy of it is what I was kind of like um wondering about that's all because it because again to me everything seems like it's a one-way street and i understand about all those other things that you had said but again and if they're not required to attend all the meetings but they could pick up on something they could have a personal axe to grind or whatever it is and it, you know that might be their, their thing i don't you know i don't know <laughs> but inquiring minds were just you know curious <laughs> Well, my opinion is like, what would their function really be? Thank you. And that's why I was uh, talking about job duties. <laughs> they were listed the job duties because what they're talking about is like the charter and what it says in the charter, but it doesn't say what the how, how that's being um, turned into a job. In other words, mm -hmm. it's no, no, there's no task or anything of that nature. I do have one small concern about it. <clears throat> you know, there are times when for example, in the case of a referendum vote on something that the council has decided, the council might have as a group a strong position, but there might be a, a vote of, of the town uh, to validate that, to confirm it or to reject it. And in that case, you know, having a person from the council, even though I know they would be totally scrupulous and they would not try to influence it, the perception of the public might be that the council uh, has a special kind of, you know, re relationship with the Board of Registrars, whereas our job is to be totally non-political and not take a stand. So even though I know they wouldn't do anything bad, it mm -hmm. could be perceived as, in some cases, as not being necessary. And so since it's optional for that reason, I would say, let's not do it. Mm -hmm. 
Well, again, it's an inquiring question that I have because to me it seems like it is a one-way street because everything that we do is already out there. You know, as far as like, you know, through uh, announcements and meetings and different things of that nature. Right. So, and it's governed by MGL, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're, we're, we're governed by MGL, but they're not. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. And that's what, what I'm saying as far as like, the, the, and this is where the policy comes in, the town policy, the interpretation of, you know, whatever it is that they have written up is what I'm, what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. I and mean, I have the same. It's, a, it's an acquiring mind, and, and it didn't mean to say that um, anybody's uh, being <laughs> unscrupulous, but if everything is supposed to be on board, then why are you, you know, put that on board too? <laughs> and I have the same thoughts too, where it's just kind of like everything is what we do, we have to stick by the letter of the state law, and we're, you know, run off of what they say. So I feel like there's no, there's no real reason to have any other interference or just anybody else being there, taking up somebody else's time to be a part of that. I just don't feel like it's necessary, but I guess I'm on the same, like, I guess I could go either way. Like, do I really, do I really care? Like, I mean, if somebody else is there and sitting in on meetings and a part of the stuff, because we have to do everything in the way that we have to do it. And that's it. Like, that's where it ends. So it's like, I don't feel like there needs to be any sort of other, like, middle person. Because what we're going to do is what we're going to do. But at the same time, what we're going to do is what we're going to do. So it doesn't really matter if somebody else is there. I think it just kind of gums it up a little bit where it's just another another body in the room or, or whatever. I don't know. But I just don't see where it's necessary either. Because it's it, you know, we're guided by how we have to look at things and do things. So I'm not sure that it it's necessary to have somebody else there being in on it or whatever. Because I sort of see that position also as, as oversight, but it's not mandated in the law that, to have the oversight. Right. So. No, and I mean, the times that we meet that we have to recommend to the town council, you know, do we recommend in-person early voting for a town election? That's one of the times that the board meets. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it, it's going to the town council already. Right. So they're all going to. So it's not like it's going to get there any faster with somebody sitting in, you right. know, and then they have to meet twice as a council before they vote on things as well. So they don't even vote on it at the time that it goes there the first time. They meet again on a second meeting mm -hmm. and then they vote. So. It's not like it's going to speed things along between us and the council. And I think that's the only time that we make a recommendation to the council um, mm -hmm. is on is on in-person early voting. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we don't really interact with the council. All the decisions are made within the body by state law. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I was a little bit confused too as far as what, when they which council that they were talking about. Because also it could be like a subcommittee council or I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah, no, this yeah. is a count. It's, a, it's one of the members of the so they have a lot of subcommittees, yeah, that, and, and they the have one. so the made all the counselors in the beginning of their term say, mm -hmm. I'd love to serve on the finance committee, or I'd love to serve on the CDBG committee, or what have you. And mm -hmm. then they allocate, you know, okay, we're going to put so and such and so and such on that other committee. And, you know, so it's a link to those other committees. So they're apprised of what's going on within the committee. But these are committees that meet all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And that's the difference between, I think, us and them. I hate to say that, but we're a really odd, different committee because we only meet as needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So that's what we're a little worried about. Well, not really worried, but uh, just curious about as far as like, well, what other things do they need on? And this is what I'm talking about, how the information could get back to us. So we know that it was like, you know, who, who, who were these people, in other words? And even if they, you know, they had something to tell us, they can't tell us how to do anything because we're already, yeah, we have our own rules, our state laws. Yeah. So, well, I don't, yeah. see, to be honest, I don't really don't see this job having any power. It's pretty much like, I won't say an investigative, whatever, but like the eyes and ears are either like a watchdog or oversight or something of that nature. And that's what I was just sort of like looking for, you know, in the job duties to in, in, in that actual explanation of what they're doing. Because to me, a liaison pretty much like facilitates the communication between the groups as opposed to just gathering information. And this person just seems like that they're gathering information. Yeah. Anyway. 
Anyway, okay. that's my sense. <laughs> it sounds like we're all on the same page here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make this short and sweet. Uh, okay. Do we want to? Do we want to come? Do we want to? Who wants to make a motion on a vote? Does are we, are we at that point yet? Or do you well, want to discuss? Yeah, I'll move that we politely decline <clears throat> the offer. <laughs> I'll, I'll second that. Okay. Okay, and I'll I'll third it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well. Um, okay. So motions made by Steve to decline the offer, seconded by Jamie. All in favor? Aye. 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 Has to be roll call vote. It's, it's roll call, roll sorry, call thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so roll call vote. Um, uh, so Susan Audette, aye. Jamie Wagner? Aye. Steve George? Aye. Jackie Gardner? Aye. Okay, it's unanimous. Motion passes unanimously. Okay, and then um, the last thing we have is any topics not anticipated within 48 hours before the meeting. Do we have anything else we want to talk about? <laughs> okay. I love the shoulder shrug thing in the high. Yeah. I will. <laughs> okay, I hear none. Okay, so that's none. All right, and then um, so we have, um, we're going to approve today's meeting minutes today, like we've been doing. All right. Um, so I think give us a minute because Amber was taking the minutes and um, actually Amber, you've got them in electronic. Are you all set with yeah. them? Yeah, just you want about. <clears throat> okay, do you wanna read them out loud? I can just share my screen. Okay, share your screen, perfect. Just one second. Can you tell I'm old school? <laughs> I'm just going to read them out loud. <laughs> I know. Okay. All right. I just gotta fix one thing up here. Yeah, I was gonna say when I did the template, I didn't take out on uh, number three, you know, all the wording. So mm -hmm. just change it around. Yeah. All right. And I will share my screen. Can you share the screen as co-host? If you can't, I could do it. If yeah. you just save it and close it, I could open it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All okay. right. Oh, it says Susan Adet read the minutes. Yeah, I'll change that. Yeah, I'll just say <laughs> Amber Martin's shared. <clears throat> and if there's any changes or anything that needs to be clarified, just please yeah. let me know. Under point three, do we want to add anything in there? That's the big one. Yeah. 
Amber, can you add um, where, I, where it says Susan described what the functions are under point three? Um, voter registration, then before the et cetera, can you put in, yep, right there, um, render any decision on any matter referred to them. Perfect, thank you. Or you can still say et cetera, et cetera is fine. Okay. Oh, you have and, yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Are we all done reading? Are we still reading? All set. You're all set? Any changes by anyone besides that? No? Mm -hmm. So I make a motion to accept the minutes from today's meeting as um, presented by Amber to us. Do we have a second? I'll second it. All right, then let us vote on today's, uh, um, agreeing on today's minutes. All in, so in favor, um, Susan Audette, aye. Jackie Gardner, Jackie Gardner. Aye. Jamie Wagner. Aye. Steve George. Aye. Motion passes unanimously. All right, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? I'll second that too. <laughs> all in all in favor, Susan Odette, aye. Jackie Gardner. Aye. <laughs> Jamie Wagner. Aye. Steve George. Aye. All right. Meeting adjourned, 1027. Right. Okay. Have a great day. Excellent. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Okay. Bye. I know. We're off. We're off. Bye. Okay. Till Bye. the next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. <laughs> Yep, I know. I gotta end this. And <laughs> bye. Okay, bye, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs>